Royalty and decadence draped the palace walls, while elegance and cheers filled the castle. It was the perfect kingdom. All was right with the king and queen until one dreadful and dark day. As the skies grew dark and stormy, the crystal curse swooped through and completely took over the kingdom. Remembering the royal escape tunnel, the queen ran to seek shelter, but it was too late. One by one, the evil curse turned everyone into stone, leaving them frozen in time forever. The curse had already consumed her. As she turned into stone, she took on the likeness and evil of the crystal curse. However, she was not frozen in time, but had become the Stone Queen. She now had the power to turn anyone else who tried to save the kingdom to stone. And so, she did. What's crack a lackin' everybody? My bald cap is... Oh well, we'll fix that later. First things first, we're taking this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in pots and pans. I'm gonna mark out where I am going to be putting my acrylic crystals, making sure I'm all ready to go. Then I am picking up some white body paint and coating everywhere outside the lines that I just drew. I want to make sure I get a pretty opaque coverage on this first go around here. And I'm also bringing that up into my bald cap, across my chest, around my shoulders, and then picking up some purple paint and bringing that through my bald cap. Then I'm taking this sea sponge here and blending it all out because blending is the way to go if you don't know. I was super excited when I heard the theme was royalty. I thought immediately of this idea in my head. I was in the shower, I was looking at my marble tile, and I thought marble, stone, crystals stone queen so that's kind of how I got inspired now I'm picking up some silver gray body paint and making my skin tone a little bit more opaque and stone like I'm repeating the process that I did on my head area onto my shoulders and sponging all that out Next, I'm picking up the number 11 NYX eyeliner brush and picking up some black body paint and starting to create the crevices and cracks in my stone-like flesh I am trying to create. So that silver background kept on messing with my focus on my camera, so I swapped over to a black backdrop, which totally saved the day. I'm picking up this NYX Hot Singles Shadow in Raven along with this blending brush by NYX in the number 27. I'm shading around each crack and crevice to create some depth and dimension along with adding some unique shadow lines coming from right under my chin down to just about my collarbone. Next I'm doing some contour with that same black shadow under my cheekbones, around my chin, and then I'll take a smaller brush and start to contour my nose in the eyeshadow shade Punk Heart which is this beautiful pearl essent deep purpley shade. So I'm going for more of a character face as opposed to a beauty glam face. So I'm really accentuating my chin, my nose, making it a little bit more character -y and stone light with severe angles. Don't worry about the lines in your bald cap. We're going to cover those up with our acrylic crystals here in a second. Now with this hot pink shadow, I'm adding even more to the cheeks and the shadow lines to make it pop even more. Add a little shimmy because Witch Stone Queen doesn't need a little blusher on. Now with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil Crayon in Purple Velvet, I'm laying down a shadow base that I'm going to go over with some purple eyeshadow. I'm taking this smaller blending brush to blend out the edges and then layering on top some NYX eyeshadow in Ultra violet. I'm blending this shadow throughout the crease, under the brow bone, and even above my eyebrows to help prep and create a stark and obvious transition so that when I lay down the white eyebrows, it really pops. Now to add a gradient effect across the eyelids, I am taking NYX eyeshadow in Raven and laying that across my upper lash line, then blending it up into the crease. Now I'm picking up NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk and lining my inner corner and also my inner waterline. I'm also dragging it down to create a almost like feline style of a downward point to create a big, nice, wide character eye shape. 
I'm also bringing that a little bit across my upper lid to continue the exaggeration. Now let's give this stone queen some black eyeliner. I'm picking up NYX Liquid Black Eyeliner in Collection Noir and tracing out the bottom of that white shape we just created and filling that eyeliner in to create a nice thick tapered wing at least the start to the wing. So once we have the bottom blocked out, I'm going to drag it up into a very exaggerated wing. And for funsies, let's go ahead and add a second bottom lash line just to add to the drama. Now this liquid eyeliner step did give me some trouble. Liquid eyeliner can be a struggle even for this queen. So just roll with it and do your best. Now moving back to the eyebrows to really make them pop, I'm picking up some white body paint and I'm using a thin brush to coat my lashes. I'm trying really hard not to touch my skin and keep it focused right on the hair so it looks as natural as possible. Next, I'm picking up this black NYX eyeliner pencil and lining the bottom of my eyes in the outer corner and my waterline. I'm going back into Punk Heart and blending out our harsh liner lines to make it nice and smoky. Now to define our charactery button nose, I'm adding highlights with white body paint and blending that out into the forehead. Just using the tips of my fingers. Now, moving on to this fancy little step, grab your little bag of acrylic crystals. I picked these up at the craft store. You can also find them in your grandmother's vases. They're like little vase fillers. So just snag those and you'll be good to go. I'm starting off by placing down some super strong eyelash glue. I'm putting that along both cheekbones and then I'll move on to my forehead. These do take a little while to dry down so just have a little dance party, sing a few songs, and put your patience short this on. And just keep gluing these little guys on one by one. Like I said earlier in the video, you're going to be able to hide your bald cap a little and that's what we're doing with these acrylic crystals. All right, once you have both sides of your forehead looking pretty symmetrical, let's go ahead and pick up some NYX Wicked Lashes. I'm layering on some NYX Color Mascara in the shade Purple Violet to add a little more pizzazz to these lashes and make them flow with the whole purple amethyst theme we have going on. So I picked up some white body paint with the NYX liner brush and I'm adding highlights along the crack lines on my chest piece and down my neck to really make those shadows stand out. And to make cracks look realistic, don't worry about it too much. I like to let my brush wiggle around, applying more pressure at some curves and lighter pressure at other turns. And always remember to apply little pressure at the very end when you release off from the crack or from the line because then it will become a nice tapered finish to the crack. I know this part seems a little bit tedious, but it's so important that we do this. It creates the illusion that these crystals are breaking through the stone surface of the skin. Plus, it gives this stone queen some highlight that is popping, breaking, and cracking through, honey. I'm also making sure to add some black paint to create some shadows and depth in the back of my crystals as well as in the front. Now on to painting my arms. I am using three different colors here. I'm using a purple slash magenta body paint along with black and then I'm going to add some white too taking that sea sponge and patting everything down. I was trying to imagine that I was in a spa getting like this mud bath or something because it felt so weird to put paint on you especially if like the fan is on it just feels really interesting. So here I am adding the white tips to my fingertips and along with some white cracks peeking through in between my hands. Now I needed to wait for my hands to dry because I needed to still do additional steps but I was so anxious that I wanted to do my hands so story of my life right? So just give yourself a little dance. Then I put some of that really strong eyelash glue on both of my shoulders and let those dry a bit. Then I'm taking these styrofoam half spheres that I got from the craft store and I painted them in the same color scheme as the rest of my body and then I hot glued the crystals onto the spheres. Now moving on to our amethyst crystal inspired lip look. I'm picking up NYX's glitter primer and I'm mixing it with some non-iridescent glitter. It's really hard to find like flat glitter that doesn't have like that holographic rainbow tint to it that was going to work with this look. So I went ahead and mixed some white paint, the glitter glue, and along with the very flat glitter. And I'm concentrating that in the center of my lip 
and creating more of a Jessica Rabbit shape of a lip. Not your traditional Cupid's bow lip, but more of a character superhero Jessica Rabbit super pouty rounded upper lip. So that's what I was going for here. So the next round is with the same step or the glitter primer. I swapped out the white paint with the magenta paint and then patted on additional clear glitter. Then for the third round of this amethyst lip, I am picking up the same mixture but adding black paint and black glitter. For the final layer of glitter, this is really where you're gonna define your lip shape. So be careful here that you don't um, maybe go too big or too far out or too far under the lip because this is really gonna set the basis. It's pretty much like your lip liner. It's gonna set up your shape of the lip you are wanting to achieve. Once that is laid down, I am patting on some of the black glitter to make sure that it is still wet and that the glue is going to adhere to the glitter and to my face. I know these crystal lip looks are super popular right now, so I said why not? My stone queen needs this awesome amethyst crystal lip. Next, I am taking the Lip of the Day Lip Liner. So it's liquid lip liner. It's this gold liquid lip liner that I am just kind of carving out the sides of my mouth and around that final black layer of lips. And then I'm also taking some of that gold on to highlight some of the cracks on my face, on my neck, and kind of in my inner eye corners. So this gold, I feel like, was the icing on the cake. Now that I'm feeling very stone-like, I'm going to finish this look by popping in some white contacts, a long gray stone-colored braid, and my super cool styrofoam crystal crown that I created the same way as I did the styrofoam shoulder pieces. So without further ado, darlings, I welcome to you the Stone Queen. excited to show you all my first challenge for the NYX Face Awards. This is a contest. It's a competition that is fed from votes. So I would so appreciate it if you liked my video and you liked my makeup application. If you go on to the NYXFaceAwards.com, vote for me. You can vote up to three times a day and your vote is ever so appreciated and I am so thankful for you and just I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I get to see you in the next round. It'll be the second challenge challenge so vote for me to make sure that I get to that round and I will see you all in the next video bye guys thanks so much